Hello to all of you, I am Matt Bell and welcome back to Everybody Has Gone to the Rapture. We are still exploring the lakeside holiday camp at this uh, rainy day. And I remember that we were about to go into this cave, or well that is looking like a very small cave. However, we are going to continue to explore this place. Maybe there's something underneath here. And if not, that doesn't matter as well, because it simply looks cool. And it's a nice, feed me, a, li a nice feeling, a nice feature to go under there. Yeah, that's... That's great. But I doubt it did so something for me. Ooh, that lightning everywhere. Let's see, there's another path. Ooh, that looks cool. All the mud on the on the trail. And I hear a phone somewhere over there to the right. But I can't go to the right because there are rocks in the way and I can't climb them. Oh, hello. Who are you? I'm sure no one saw you. Mrs. Graves? I can hardly look her in the eyes. Are you sure we got enough money? Yeah. Once we're in France, we can start working anyway. My dad will bloody skin you. We'll be in Spain and married by the time your dad knows we've gone. <sighs> oh, it's that side story again. I remember those two. So they already had a memory. I think I should be close to another one, right? That's most likely where it just came from, so let's actually have a look down here. Because that looks like there could be something important. Or does it? Doesn't it? I don't know. Ah, ha! Huh. Di, whatever's wrong, you look terrible. This is Graves. Sean's baby Dylan, is he alright? He's fine. Di, come on. It's okay. Let's get you a cup of tea. Mrs. Graves, I need to tell you. Leave it, Di. Do you try and get out of the valley? All the roads are shut there. I know, I was driving really fast, but the other car was on the wrong side of the road, and oh god, I think Di, he... for fuck's sake, leave it! It's alright. Hey, you're alright. Sean's all right, baby Dylan's all right. That is what matters. Everyone's all right. <laughs> but no. Now I need your help. Some of the children, they're getting quite frightened. So Rachel and I, we decided to push forward the show, keep them occupied. You said the other night you play piano. Can you help with that? Yes, yes, I suppose so. But Mr. Graves, Rob can look after himself. He's a big boy now. Don't worry. Just head to the hall and find Rachel. She'll tell you what needs practicing. Okay, thank you, Mrs. Graves. Yeah, Sean, you. go and find Reese, please. See if he needs some help. Yeah, of course. Ah, uh, Reese might be gone by now, but um, were they talking about that car? Oh, it's not finished yet. Were they talking about that car that was lying uh, in the riverbed or next to the river? A few episodes ago. I think they might have been talking about exactly that. Because I can remember that being a thing. Alright, anyway. Let's carry on. This is a public service announcement from Habiton District Council Emergency Measures Committee. Huh? Road and rail closures are being implemented to help contain the outbreak of influenza. Please remain calm and in Local community leaders, head teachers, scoutmasters, and members of the clergy will act as your representatives during this period. Be sure to report any symptoms of illness. Another number, but I think I've heard that already. And I think this way should be the next memory. Oh, another playground. Yeah, that is probably going to be a place of importance. 
She's not in her office either. Yeah, see? Live near Ryder, eh? Yeah, in the village. You don't think she's gone to look for Mr. Graves, do you? I think Lizzie knows Robert will turn up when he's sober. He'll be all right. Do you want me to go and look for her? No, it's okay. Come on, I promised the kids another shot the last number, then I promised everyone a cup of tea. You're very like her, you know. Like Lizzie. Me? No, I'm not. First chance I get, I'm out of here. Ooh, that's kind of creepy seeing that thing, thing moving just by the ghosts. Because they are not really there and still it started to move there. But I think I need to find another one of those powerful memories. Another. Oh, wait a second. Is that... Wait, I need another map real quick. Uh, Animone Lake. Yeah, that's where I want to go. Right, 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 right. Yeah, because there it looks like the memory that is, uh, that is guiding me uh, seems to have found something. Let's have a look, shall we? Either here or somewhere else. Ah, ah. Okay, where do I put you? There is where you want to be. Yeah. Hello, Catherine. It's Kate. Oh, it's me again. Elizabeth. Lizzie. I've heard a lot about you. It's good, you know, you and Emma, it's not difficult or anything. Should it be? I'm sorry? You said it wasn't difficult. I don't see why it would be difficult. You and Stephen were together a long time ago, he moved away. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Certainly isn't difficult for me. I I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend you or... No, I'm not offended. Listen, Elizabeth, I... But Lizzie, please. <laughs> Okay, there is the connection between I, me and uh, You seem like an okay type of person. And I'm not trying to be rude, I promise. But let's try and be realistic here, huh? Let's, um, try and do our best. That's a British thing, right? Ooh. Yeah, yeah, I suppose it is. We'll do our best then. Ooh, wasn't that a little bit mean? Okay, clearly they were talking about Steven there. Okay. And uh, the time they both had with him. So let's... I think I got all four of those movable memories now. So I... B -b -b believe... Uh, yeah, I need to find uh, that one last, that powerful memory, which I had to find uh, before as well. Can I go through here? Up the pair, blah, blah, apparently, no. Okay, so I heard something. Okay, I heard something about going to the main hall would be a thing. So, uh, I might find answers there, right? Also, let's have a look at where this thing is going. Okay, yeah, it is going uh, exactly where I thought it might be. Right towards the town hall, trying to uh, get my attention. Let me get that. Okay. Ooh, found another one. Is your hip giving you grief today? Always gives me grief. And I managed for the last ten years, so you're a little late for the knight in shining armor routine. Suit yourself, I'm only trying to help. God oh, damn it, Stephen. I'm not some useless, sappy girl that you can just string along forever. Look around you. I made all of this. I built it on my own when everyone else had written me off as some poor little cripple. You know that's not how I see you. Well, you weren't there, were you? No. You'd given up on me long before the accident. What do you want from me, Lizzie? I love you. I'll do anything. Anything except tell Kate? I thought not. I love you too, but sometimes I think you just say what you think everyone else wants to hear. Uh, 
Ooh. Ooh. All right, so Steven's obviously not completely honest with me or Lizzie or both of us. And uh, also, what happened to Lizzie? Did I forget something about that? Or uh, wasn't it mentioned before? I don't know. Anyway, let's see what we will find in the main hall. Okay, I don't know why this game hates me so much, but it managed to screw me over once again. I was in the main hall and uh, there was another one of those big memories which I had to drag in the right position and hold it there for a moment. And then uh, the scene was finished. Um, you could see Rachel and Charlie sitting here uh, with a baby in her hands, in her arms, and then uh, after the scene was finished uh, you could see all the other people sitting here and lying on the bed on their beds, um, probably around when the airstrike uh, hit the little city, hit the little town. And, uh, well, the atmosphere was absolutely depressing there. Um, so, well, I can't act like I'm seeing this now for the first time because I already know what the, f what the next memory will go is going to be. However, I'm not going to tell you yet. You have to wait and uh, see for yourself. Um, yeah, but still, it's it's looking so cool, and it's such a shame that is that, especially for this game, my recording is uh, working like crap all the time. I barely can record one episode without having uh, without having some issues. Here and there. It got better when I uh, changed the graphic settings, but still, this is this is so bad because the game is so awesome and looks so cool and the story is so well done and uh, the atmosphere and everything is so good. And I I just. I love the game for being what it is and I hate the game or well I hate my recording software for recording so badly in this special case. But anyway, what can I do? I try my very best uh, to get you all the experience I get and uh, as soon as I realize that something is going wrong, something something is going on with my recording that's not supposed to be going on. I try to react immediately, but sometimes I'm just getting too involved in the game and I don't see uh, the little sign in my uh, corner down there, which tells me whether everything is going okay. So well, I can only say I'm very very sorry, but yeah, we have to go through that and uh, I have to go through that and yeah. Now we arrived at the next memory, which is the one of Steven. That's going to be pretty interesting. Now Steven has been one of the main characters throughout this game so far. There's data coming through faster than I can encode it. I've already lost two processors. They keep burning out. Please, I love you. You need to get out of that. It's well, not safe. Well, who is loving you, more, huh? I need you here. I can open the gate manually. I can let you in. It's too dangerous. You don't understand what's happening No, here. you don't understand. We can solve this. We can find a way. I just need more power. I need to amplify the signal, and I can't do it on my own. You saw the opportunity. You ran the numbers, remember? We're responsible for all this. You and me. <laughs> it's not just you and me anymore, though, is it? Jesus, Kate, you're trying to talk to it, aren't you? Kate, you can't. Steven, I have to. Okay, there we have the phone call and there we have a nice new atmosphere, a nice new lighting, which I really, really like. It's looking, again, completely different from before and it's looking completely awesome again. And, uh, well, here my recording, uh, here I realized that my recording broke, so I could 
start it again and la load the last save game, which, dead. It won't start. It's only a short which was uh, right after the up. event in the main you hall, unfortunately. Ritual, I'll go back to the village and find Evie. I don't think we should split up. I don't want to either, Charlie, but we've got to. I'll meet you back at my house later on, okay? We can talk properly then. Why won't you tell me what happened? No, no, actually, you should stay at the camp tonight. Come and find me in the morning. Bring Rachel back. She's going to need her mother. Meg. Just take care of her. Meg! What is it, Charlie? Nothing. Just be careful. Guys. All right, this was the Charlie... You as well. ...who talked with Rachel in the main hall. So what happened to Kate? Did she die on her way there? Meg, I mean. Because uh, she wasn't there. At least she wasn't talking. So, well, this is uh, interesting. Where am I? You are here. I'm right on my way to Little Tipworth and Yorton and Tipworth Station. Okie dokie. But I haven't seen any markers now, which might point me in the right direction. Maybe I'll find another map. The specific one uh, of this uh, area. So, uh, for now, I have to investigate on my own. And, uh, well, uh, I have to trust uh, this little fella here, which is uh, trying to guide me around, maybe. Or not. Or maybe he is trying to guide me in a completely wrong direction. Because this seems to be the memory of Steven, and I don't know whether you can trust Steven that much. But why on earth are you there? Why aren't you calling from home? It's hard to explain. I'm having to move around to follow it. When it finds a suitable host, it begins to amplify... Sorry, I'm not making much sense. They're talking about flu and a quarantine on the radio, but this... I know you're not that kind of doctor, but it all just sounds really weird. We don't know exactly what it is yet. But it's got something to do with the other night. Stephen, your face, the mark. Do you think you're infected? Uh -oh. It's not a disease, Lizzie. It's something else. There's something Kate said about patterns. I can't grasp it clearly yet. Okay, come over. Have some lunch. We can talk properly. Have you spoken with Kate? Well, she's locked herself in the observatory. She's buried in the data. But it's already out here in the world. I need to see how it adapts. How what adapts? Stephen, try to explain... Whoa. Lizzie, listen. Be ready. I need to go. It's moving again. I'll call you later. Whoa, oh, what was that? <laughs> that sound was actually pretty creepy. Ugh, and I wasn't expecting that. So better get moving again. And then the music kicks back in. So let's see what we'll find in this uh, little little town. There is a mi there might be another map, right? At the bus station. I'll have a look. Maybe it is telling me something. Tipworth Road, yeah. Nope. Still not telling me anything. However, more bloody uh, pieces of paper. Uh, this door is open. This door is open. That is always a good thing because that means I can get in the house and uh, steal all the stuff that's in there. No, I want to see the memory. Hmm? Ooh. Do you think she'll like it? It's in an awful state, Stephen. I don't It'll think It'll be she'll... an adventure. It'll mean putting down roots here, maybe a family. Are you sure she wants children? What, to stay here? It's not her place, you know. Don't start that again, please. I mean, she's ambitious, love, and she's, well, older. 
She's not going to want to stay cooped up at home looking after the kids. Well, Very they're probably lovely. talking about oh, Kate, so Stephen, me. That's not what I meant, and you know it. I'm just saying you should make a choice. If it's a family you want, well, you know how much Lizzie wants a family. Yep. Jesus, Mum, I didn't come here for marriage guidance. Oh, I just asked Wendy about is Stephen's mum. Appleton language. Okay. So it's just that you have to understand I didn't know that. Kate is the most brilliant, extraordinary, wonderful person I've ever known. Yeah, but who's, she's, who's she's like no one else. More? The way she looks at things. It's like she has whole worlds inside her head. I don't think you or anyone really understands that. More mysteries everywhere. Well, depending on who Steven talks to, uh, it's once Kate and once it's Lizzie who is loving more. And uh, I really wonder what is it, what it's going to be in the end. Uh, speaking of endings, I would say I'm going to leave this episode right here. Um, well, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, of course I say thank you very much for watching. And well, if you liked it, then please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, share the video, basically just do what you want. So I hope to see you all in the next video. Until then, have a good time and bye-bye. Uh,